good guys. Here we go. Back with a little more Pokemon play. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh, right, I forgot. It shows the... Ooh, that's the last day I recorded that? Well, that's kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, how you guys doing? Floodmon14. Uh, in the last episode, we arrived here in Jubilee City. Uh, let's see, we got the Poketch, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure we also got the scene with Looker and delivered the uh, the map to uh, the rival. So, uh, in this episode... Actually, let me check something here real quick. Because it's, it's actually been a little while since I recorded this. Not really sure how much money I've got, but... Uh, hmm, only $32? Uh, how many Pokeballs do I got? Pokeballs... Only two? Oh, okay. Well, um... Hmm. Obviously, like, I definitely want to look around uh, the route up north. I really want to search that pretty thoroughly for any random Pokemon as well as the route to the... To the uh, what direction was that? To the west. Uh, I want to kind of fish over there, but... Uh, obviously, it's kind of hard to do that without too much money, so... Let's make sure. Did I do the Poke Edge Quest? Uh, right, yeah, because these guards, guys aren't prompting like their uh, quest questions, so I'm guessing I did. All right, so I guess we'll head over here uh, east uh, toward or Orberg City. So, oh, and we got a cutscene. All right, hey, Megami, tell me you got a little stronger. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it on you. Oh, okay, buddy. Alright, let's do it. Time with the rival. Leader? Oh, he's a gym leader. What? <laughs> Ponyta. Oh, it's only level 7, so... Oh, and I've got the wrong Pokemon out front. Normally I use this when I'm trying to catch stuff. And, uh, I forgot where all the moves are, so... Oh, okay, Jan's first up. Yeah, I kind of forgot where most of the main moves are, so... Maybe I'll do a little... I think I put the most powerful move up front, though, in general, so... Let's try Metal Crab Mon. Yeah. Growl. <laughs> yeah, I got white smoke, son. Alright. Give a grip. Vice grip. Alright, let's see if this is effective. Oh, okay, it is. Okay. And Vice grip is up front. <laughs> yeah, this isn't over yet. Yeah. You say so. There we go. All right. 114, not bad. And Flava Fla, level 7. Oh, that's good, because he is trying to help us catch up. Paris, oh boy. Uh, not the most impressive team, but uh, I guess we'll just leave Metal Crabmon in here. Um, let's try Vice Grip, yeah. Hmm. I forgot there was a rival fight here, honestly. Ooh, kind of glad I missed. My Pokemon's getting low on HP. Things can be tight here. Yeah, yeah. I think this is KO, buddy. Easy. Easy rival fight right there. Probably a lot easier than it normally is, because he doesn't have his usual started. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, buddy. Why? What do you mean I lost? I'm telling you, you lost. That's it. Game over. Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing I do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to turn it up for that totally. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to head this way, too, so. And, uh, I don't think my Pokemon are too hurt, so let's just keep going. Uh, your favorite should be placed at the top list left. Yeah, that way it'll be first. Uh, speaking of that, thanks for reminding me, little lady there. Yeah, because, uh, Flava Flob's not actually on the team team, so he's just kind of... Oh, yeah, I forgot we got this last time. War Tormon. Uh, oh, right, I forgot it has Adamant, but I mean, yeah, we're kind of low on Pokeball, so I'll probably go with this anyway. Uh, let's switch Wartormon up front. Yeah. Yeah, so as far as the team team, I would say right now, for sure Wartormon's on the team. Probably Metal Crabmon, too. Yeah, Steel Dragon's pretty good combo. And of course, you know, our starters at this, so. Uh, I would say that's the team right now, but, uh, and, uh, I've got Bubble up front for you, right? Sorry, guys, it's been a while since I played this, so, uh, yeah, Bubble is up front and tackle. Okay. 
All right, let's battle. Let's battle, buddy. I get my get up and go for my Pokemon. Here we go, Cricketot, Zubat. Oh, you're not gonna have those. You're gonna have something else. And so instead of Zubat, he's got, and Cricketot, Champion, Cristiano. Mayim Jr. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Okay, I guess we'll see if Bubbles effective. Barrier, hmm, that's kind of annoying. think that's gonna do it, War Tormon. We'll get you out of there. Uh, does Zapdos have a Thunder Shot? Let me see. He does. Okay. We'll try Zapdos. There we go. Uh, you can't copy anything if I don't use anything. Oh, well, I guess you just get that from War Tormon. That's fine. Let's try a Thunder Shock. a bit more. Oh, critical hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. See you, Mime Jr. Alright. Oh, level 5. Good. Furrets. Okay, well, I kind of want uh, Watermon to get some experience, so switch back. And we might switch back out. Yeah, where's your Zubat, buddy? Well, it's randomizer, so that's why. Uh, level six. We might be able to take this on, honestly. Mm, only this three damage. Oh, it's super effective. Nice. All right. No need switch this time. I got you for it. Your defense curl is going to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since we recorded some of this, but yeah. We're just gonna relax today and play a little Pokemon, man. Yep. Alright, we'll just keep bubbling. And, like, for the most part, just to let you guys know, like, what I'm looking for in this game. Like, honestly, I'm not looking to progress the story. Like, like I realize, like, that's the main thing is, like, get to the gyms and uh, get all gym badges, you know. Uh, but ultimately, like... And this let's play in general, especially like here early on, uh, my goal is honestly to find like something that gives us money, like a protein, calcium, nugget, you know, and basically just kind of chill around, see what Pokemon are available. Oh, nice. Two levels up. Yeah. See, like, see what Pokemon are available and just kind of, yeah, just kind of mess around and have fun. So, uh, and like go, go on a catch them all, you know, I don't, I don't plan to catch them all, but you know. I plan to just basically, yeah, relax and see what all is out here. So, if I spend a lot of time catching Pokemon, yeah, you guys know why now. Like, I'm not really going to worry about, you know, progressing the game too fast in this one. We're just really just going to enjoy what all is in the randomizer. Keep out of the grass or dodge the eyes of trainers. I always have a touch I'm choosing. Ah, okay. Well, let's go over here and grab this. X Special. Mm, we can sell that for a little bit, but... Uh, We'll just keep going. I guess I could look for a Pokemon here too, but I've only got like a few Pokeballs, so I don't really see the point. Uh, Cause I definitely want to save some in case I find like a shiny or something. Ooh, there's an item up there. Maybe that'll be what I'm looking for. All right, next trainer. What's up, buddy? I'm a fire for my Shinx. Our bond is strong. Oh, you don't have a Shinx? You're a liar just like the last guy. But you've got Champion Donna. Oh, all youngsters are champion. Oh, that's funny. We just ran into a fur, right? And now we see a Zigzagoon. Yeah. <laughs> Both kind of like, uh, yeah. Both, uh, you know, early game uh, normal types. If you're just gonna sit there and growl, buddy, I will bubble you for 10 turns. I don't care. Hmm. That's only doing 10 damage. Yeah, as I'm sure you all know, Zigzagoon, the uh, Sapphire one, eventually evolves into, what is it, Lanoon, I think? Yeah. And of course, Fur, it's the evolution of Sintret. The early game, you know, basically the evolve, the Sintret's like the early, the Johto Brattata, you know, so to speak. Yeah, so early game normal type. 
yeah, I actually like Zigazuki quite a bit because like normally its ability is uh, what you call it, uh, pickup. Yeah, which is actually very, 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 very useful in um, Sapphire. <laughs> if you just catch like uh, Ru or in Ruby or Sapphire, if you just catch a Zigzagoon early or like it's even five Zigzagoons, you can pick up like full restores on the first round of the game just doing what you would normally do. It's crazy. They actually changed the pickup rates in. Uh, and like emerald because uh pickup was so good so so sad and so crushed yeah buddy you don't stand a chance i don't bear grudges over losing i promise i'll get tougher uh, his voice just radically changed there I, I don't know why uh i'm just gonna go back in here real quick and uh yeah we'll come back do, 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 do. shouldn't take too long and besides that way I don't have to use any of my money on potions and so yeah expect me expect to see me do this a lot too like running back to the Pokemon Center because uh, yeah definitely want to pri prioritize using my money on Pokeballs or any other uh, catching items we can get like dust balls or something I can't wait till we get those those will be really good all right let's just keep going I don't know if there's any hidden items around here. I mean, there probably are, but I'm not really sure where they would be. Before I challenge the gym leader, I'll test my strength on you. This guy sounds like Jaden Yuki. Champion Scarlet. Feeble. People, 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 we feeble. All right, War Tormon. Uh, this thing should only have Splash, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think for the sake of entertainment. Let's see if this is super effective. Okay, it's not, but let's just... Yeah, I think we can speed this one up, because I'm pretty sure all it has is Splash, so... Yeah, we'll just kind of... <laughs> if I ever get into a battle like that, you know, I will, you know, kind of speed it up, because it's just like, yeah, there's really... There's no point in <laughs> me showing that. Not very, you know... <laughs> Might as well cut to the chase on that. So, level 9. All right. Nice, nice experience considering that was just a Phoebus. But, uh, I'm sorry, Phoebus. I guess if you don't have a single gym badge, you're a total nobody. Ah, come on, bro. You can still be a good trainer, even if you don't have any badges. Well, let's see what is here. Oh, Cleffa, huh? I'm not even sure that'd be worth uh, the time for me to try to kill it. I'll see if Bubble's effective. If not, I'm probably gonna run. Uh, all right. If tackle is regular effective, then okay, fine. I'll take it out. Pound attack, pound it, pound dog. See you, Cleffa. Yeah, 26 experience. Okay, I'm probably not gonna fight any of those anymore if we run into them. Normally, I fight like a all wild Pokemon battles too. By the way, I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Yeah, indeed. Let's battle Rocker Donna for Pokemon. Sweet. Onyx. Mm -hmm. Normally, Bubble would completely uh, hose him here, but uh, let's see. Mm, still does pretty good damage. I guess, you know, it's not really based on my nature, because my nature is admin, but uh, probably based on Onyx's uh, special defense. So, all right. Pretty easy EXP for War Tormon. There you go. See ya, Onyx. <laughs> Alright. Withdraw. We'll take it. I, I doubt I'll use it much, but... Haunter! Uh, we are part psychic type, so let me just stay in here for a second. But I probably will... Well, it's level 4. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, maybe Tackle can take it out? Because normally ghosts aren't... Oh... Wait, well, if that's not effective, yeah, this is going to be super effective to us, which I kind of wanted to avoid. But maybe Bubble's effective? Maybe it's a rock type? Oh. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, I was going to switch out due to weakness there, but uh, yeah, War Tormon pulled it out. He's coming along nicely. Ooh, almost. Porygon. Hmm. Alright. Bring it on. Bring it on. Alright, we'll go for tackle. Okay. Try 
have about one. Oh, okay. Well, at least we lowered your speed. <laughs> Conversion. Ooh, what's he gonna switch to? Dragon type? Okay, we'll go with tackle. <laughs> That's a pretty pretty good hit with conversion, I must say. Uh-huh. Alright. Quagsire. Giggity giggity. Alright. <laughs> Not a bad team overall. I mean, Quagsire, Oregon, uh... What else is on the team? Haunter. And, uh, I forgot the first Pokemon, but overall, not too bad, not too bad. But we can resist his water gun, so that's good. Yeah, that water gun do a nut. And down goes Quagsire. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. And Water Bond's almost caught up. Finish so soon? Yes. What say you? I walk through tall grass until I find the Pokemon I want. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing too, because I'm really interested to see what the randomizer has uh, dished out here. Uh, let's see. Let's battle you. I got a nifty King Team badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. Oh, did you now? Let's see about that. Let's see if your name's on the gym sign, Rocker Lawrence. Whalmer. That's a big boy. I'm sorry, big girl. I will go with Tackle. Well, hopefully Bubble's effective, otherwise we're gonna be here a while until we get a crit. Yeah. Hmm. I think Tackle still does more here. Well, until he growls us too much. <laughs> I forgot Wilmer could even learn. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it does learn that at a low, low level. Uh -huh. Alright, you got this War Tormon. I mean, luckily here early on with these trainers, uh, a lot of them are having uh, Water Pokemon. And uh, War Tormon is Water Psychic, so... Really, we can just stay in and get some easy EXP, so Bubble should take it out. Nice. This should give us a lot of EXP. Yeah, yeah, 234? Wow. Yeah, I remember Wilmer's uh, from Trainers and Emerald always giving a lot of EXP. Oh, I lost. La 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 la. <laughs> I guess she's really carefree. I'm collecting lots of gem badges. They're so sparkly and pretty. Yeah. We'll see you if you're lying or not once we get to the gym. Your name's on the sign. Uh, yeah, yeah. Evolution can be stopped, indeed, if you want to. Sunstone. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this item over here is. Oh, no, Pokemon. Okay. Rare candy. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. That's pretty good to find this early in the game. Uh... Yeah, because the usual rare candies won't won't be where they normally are. Because all the items are random too, so... Ooh! Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I wouldn't mind catching this Pokemon. Uh, but in order to do it, we're definitely going to need some more Pokeballs. Because I'm pretty sure this thing knows Teleport Gardevoir. Uh, resistance to Bubble, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to need, like... Hmm. We're going to need some more Pokeballs and something to put that to sleep. But, uh... Uh, let's just head in here to the Orberg Gate. Yeah, so I definitely want to go back to that other route we just came through and definitely want to look around for some more Pokemon once we get some Pokeballs. Like it's sparkling new Poketch, your awkwardness as a traveler. Hm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, partner. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me gift, make a gift of this hidden machine to you. Let me get HM06, okay. That hidden machine, or HM for short, contains a hidden move Rock Smash. Took my learn Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field, but the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. You don't have that badge, you can't make use of Rock Smash. Alright. Yeah, and as you see, like, you can go a little deeper in this cave, but we gotta wait till we beat the gym. Uh, so yeah. But we have an early game fighting move, I guess, if we want to put that on anything. 
a fee. Wow, that's uh, huh. interesting. Uh, how much EXP do you give? I wonder. Hmm. Whoa. Tail glow. That could be dangerous. Is that all you have at this level? No, you surely have like tackle or something. A water sport. All right. This thing might just be free XP. I don't know. I'm pretty sure man, if he has a pretty high catch rate too, so I doubt I'll be trying to catch this thing. But uh, hmm, doesn't seem like it can hurt us though. So good to know. Hmm. Let's see how much XP it gets. Us. That's actually quite a lot. Hmm. Okay. I'll be fighting those if we find out any more water pond. Water gun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's forget to move here. Um. Hmm. I doubt I'll use withdraw. So. Yeah, let's get rid of withdraw. And I'll switch water gun to the front attack. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right, well, let's switch, uh, let's put Wi-Fi right up front. Uh, War Tormod has caught up. Uh, 24, 22 special attack. It's actually close to its regular attack, so not bad, I guess. Uh, let's do that. And no, let's switch it with Tilt Whip there. There we go. All right, Zapdos, you're up. I love the cave thing, by the way here in uh, Platinum. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. Is that so? Arthur Jimmy? Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Yeah, I said that right. Hey, it's Arthur. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> then Shaq. Oh, hmm. I do have a pack though, right? Yeah, there's a chance maybe this thing is grass type since it resisted a. Uh... Let's try that. Ah, nice. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's grass type or not, but uh, Peck is effective and you're taking rough skin damage. Dude, I forgot uh, Wi Fi even had that ability. That's actually a pretty, pretty funny ability for a Zapdos to get. Good EXP, nice. Ooh, plus three. Yeah. Oros. Hmm, this guy had some good normal types. Yeah. Okay, let's try it down a shot. There we go. Nice. Alright, and I'm gonna get a drink while the last thing should be placed. Okay. Honestly, glad to see like the trainers plus four. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm glad to see like the uh, the trainers and the wild Pokemon having pretty solid EXP Pokemon because it's it's a randomizer. There's a chance these guys could be using you know anything like Sun Kerns that give nothing. Pokemon can appear anywhere in a cave. It's not like the tall grass by roads, indeed. But this cave is pretty short, so. You might not run into any Pokemon in here, honestly. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm gonna battle you. All right, let's do it. Artisan Tristan? Hey, it's me, Tristan Timothy Taylor. If you lose the duel, you lose your soul. No, I'm just kidding. Mm, that's pretty good damage. Let's just keep going with that shot. Hopefully this thing doesn't paralyze us with lick or confuse us. I that would be annoying as well. Do 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 supersonic electronic hypnotic funky fresh. Hmm. Alright, Wi Fi, you got this. You can bust through. Uh, come on, Wi Fi. Don't make a liar out of me. You got this. Listen to me, Wi Fi. Yeah. Nice. That didn't take too long. Lickitung. See you, Lickitung. 
good EXP, yeah. Another solid normal type. Well, I guess losing is something to commemorate too. Uh, I guess, yeah. Getting through that cave feels like an adventure. Like, actually, why didn't you step out of the cave? You're like three steps from it. Ooh. Hmm. I wouldn't mind checking out what type this thing is either. Glacian. But we'll just uh, take the EXP for now. Does it affect it? Ground type Glacian? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. My curiosity has peaked. I don't know if it has like any ice move this early on though. Probably just has like tackle or maybe quick attack or something. But uh, ground type Glacian. <laughs> it's funny because normally Glacian is uh, yeah all its ice attacks are super effective against ground type. But we know it's at least partially ground because uh, yeah thunder shock did not work. So interesting. Oh, okay, well, let's just head on out of here. All right, and uh, I think the rival will encounter us here pretty soon. Oh, what's up? Howdy, trainer. Uh, uh-oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon GM. And, like, how does he know? Like, are you checking out my waist, bro? That is rude. Huh, there's someone there. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that guy in front of the gym your friend? He, uh, oh, what'd he say? He's sort of twitchy and impatient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we're not gonna do anything there, though. I'm just gonna go heal first. Yeah, need to heal my war tour bomb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what time are we at, by the way? Mm, okay, I think we can go to about 11.15, so... Alright, switch on the PC at any Pokemon Center. Connect to someone's PC and access the Pokemon storage system. That's all you need to do to store or bring out your Pokemon. Indeed. Hmm. What is your favorite kind of trainer, can you tell me? Which kind of trainer would you like to be? Uh... Well, I guess an artist. Oh, being a rocker sounds cool. Yeah, I'll be a cool rocker chick. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, an ace trainer. Yes, yes. Ah, I see. So an ace trainer is the kind you like. If that's the case, others may come to see you in the same way. Okay, then. I'll talk to you later. Oh, all right. Yay, I got a pal pad at the Pokemon Wi-Fi club downstairs. Is that so? Hmm. What? Oh, who is this Team Galactic? They make wonderful claims of a dream. Energy source on one hand, but rumor has it they steal Pokemon from others by false. It's a mystery. They're mysterious. Isn't someone investigating them? Hmm, yes. I believe uh, one light Yagami is on the case. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, head on out. So, Orborg City. Uh, honestly, there's quite a lot to check out here. Uh, but one of the first things I want to do is I know there's a couple hidden items down here. And I really, whoa, want to see what they are. I almost went into the Orberg mine. Didn't want to do that. What do you have to say? Macho, mine. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a hidden item right here. Yes, ooh, a lemonade. Chilling on the uh, slag of coal right here. Yeah, this pile of dirty sand's called a slag. He, it's the waste for sorting coal. Oh, that's all you have to say? What is this? That? is a very, very good item. Let me show you guys what we just picked up. So, right here. Yeah, Luck Incense. This is great, actually. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it doubles a Battler's prize money if the holding Pokemon joins in. So, we're basically gonna keep this on our lead Pokemon for the entire game. So let's put this on, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it on Metal Crab Bomb. Let's switch him to front for now. That is great. That is a great item. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because like I said, that's my main goal is to really check out what all the randomizer has seeded. So let's see what this is. Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> that's funny. We just found a lemonade too. But uh, the Luck Incense will definitely help us uh, get more money, you know, over time. So yeah, we're at 1732 right now. So we're close to being able to buy like 10 Pokeballs. So 
Uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, let's go. We're not gonna go too deep here into the mine, but I know there are like a couple trainers down here, and like, really, I just wanna get up to two grand so we can uh, buy like 10 Pokeballs. Ooh, yeah, and there's an item here too. Okay, what's this? Shiny stone. Uh, that involves like a uh, Togetic, right? I think, in this game. Hello. I found one of ours some rocks, and then they started moving. They are Pokemon that looks just like rocks. Oh, she's talking about the Geodude? Everyone that clicks in the code mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. Ha ha ha. Oh, I thought that guy might battle me, but... All right, let's see what's in here. <laughs> what? Wow, and we just found a shiny stone. Wow, that's... <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty beastly Pokemon in this game, Togekiss. It's got really good special stats, so I'd love to try to catch it, but uh, maybe a little... This thing's like fully evolved, so I don't know if just Pokeballs would be enough, but uh, I'm definitely interested to see what type it is. Uh, Alright, good job, Crabmon. Uh, let's see... Let's see what else is here. Persian, eh? If nothing else, this is a good room for training. A lot of good EXP. Oh, that's funny. Persian cat drizzle. Uh, yeah, I got white smoke, son. You can't lower my stats. Alright. Bite, huh? Yeah, Persian is pretty fast, so... Okay, 